welcome. Uh, for those of you that have followed me, uh, I'm Dex and I've had a couple channels on YouTube for quite a while. I've been in the leather lifestyle for, um, well, c coming up this fall, it'll be 24 years. It's been a while, it's been a great journey. Uh, but, and normally if you follow the channel, I make very short videos. Usually try to keep them below five minutes and many of them are three minutes long because I think for the viewers, they're interested in a topic, they're interested in a technique or one specific thing and boom, you wanna see it, you wanna move on, you don't wanna hear a, a talking head and certainly not an old gray haired guy ramble on for about 20 minutes. But this video is gonna be a little bit longer because I want the subscribers and the channel viewers to kind of have a a shared vision of where the channel's going to be moving to and migrating. Uh, the BDSM Dungeon Play channel uh, primarily has focused on techniques in dungeon play, and if you've if you've bumped into leather communities and the leather lifestyle, usually that's not your first experience in leather. Uh, usually, your first experience in leather is to go to a munch and meet some people and get to know a little bit more about what BDSM and leather is about and find what kind of what you're interested in. And somewhere along that way, you're gonna be invited uh, perhaps to an educational workshop or uh, educational demonstration or presentation. And eventually you might get invited, start being invited to a private house parties or play parties or or dungeon a, a dungeon uh, so that's kind of the normal progression in in real life that you find uh, in leather and so I kind of want to migrate this channel toward that and to do that I'm gonna have to use some of the tools at YouTube to help facilitate that and I want I want you to know that that a cyber leather experience is not the same thing as uh, smelling the leather and experiencing it face-to-face -face and hands-on uh, with your local leather community. So I encourage everyone to reach out, find your local munch, and, uh, and become involved and explore that curiosity. It's not for everyone. Uh, I, I liken it to a mosquito bite. Uh, if you get bit and you start scratching it, the itch just continues and your curiosity continues, your imagination continues, and you, and you want to explore and learn more. Some people uh, find they aren't interested in it and they turn away from it, and certainly that's fine too. So what I'm gonna be doing with the channel, uh, if you can visualize it, is I'm gonna take the BDSM Dungeon channel and fold it into uh, what's going to be a rebranding of the channel, and we're going to call it The Leather Journey, because everybody's leather journey is different. I don't want to call it My Leather Journey, although I'll certainly be sharing a lot about My Leather Journey, and hopefully uh, other leather people that follow the channel and subscribe will feel free to share parts of their leather journey in the comments below. But to be able to fold that instructional content into the channel and kind of insulate it from what I call the drive-by viewers that may or may not be interested in leather and, and often they're navigating around YouTube and they literally don't know how they got where they got or why they're seeing what they're seeing. Uh, we, we don't wanna shock the vanillas, kinda. And so to do that, uh, we're going, I already have done it, and some of you probably wondered what the heck's happening with the channel, but I took most of the instructional content, uh, most of the technique content, and I made it for members only, okay? And if you look at, if you click on the join link and you look at the different membership levels, uh, I tried to keep, you know, I tried to keep it not about money, but just about providing a layer of insulation from those drive-by viewers or from uh, the vanillas, if you will. So if you think of the munch level, those people that are just beginning or curious, uh, 
that that's the first level of membership. The subscription's minimal. It's like 99 cents a month. What does that get you? Well, it gets you the ability to have special emojis and uh, uh, icons that you can put beside your comments when you comment on a video. When I'm reading through the comments, I'm going to notice those first. And those are going to be the first ones I reply to. Uh, it's a small indirect way of supporting the channel and saying, yeah, we like what you're doing, Dex, and we want to encourage you to continue making videos. I think we're over a couple of hundred videos at this point. Uh, but certainly, if I keep my enthusiasm up, I will uh, probably end up with a thousand videos by the time I'm done. Because you just can't really, in three minutes, talk about all the different aspects of the leather lifestyle. It's It's been a journey for 20 plus years, and it's going to take a few three-minute videos to uh, to describe that experience. So for those of you that have followed my other channel, Whips in the Dungeon, you know that I do a monthly whip practice. And we do it using Zoom, not the streaming service at YouTube, because in Zoom, it's a little more interactive. You can talk to me, I can talk to you, I can watch your technique and you throw and give you pointers. We have several regulars that are in our, our, our monthly practice group from around the country. A fellow in California has been throwing for many years. We have a very, uh, a very good uh, thrower in Idaho that attends almost every month. We even have someone in Lisbon, Portugal that attends. So you get flavors uh, from around the world of different types of, of throwing. Uh, different techniques and we share. So that that's really, um, to me, that's a value. You don't have to come every month. You pop in when you want to, but it's there every month. We generally try to do it on the third Saturday of every month. So how do you find the monthly whip practice? Well, I, I run that as an event on Fet Life. If you're not on Fet Life, I encourage you not only to subscribe at YouTube, but go over to FetLife and get a free account and find Dex. It's, my profile's easy to find, it's D-E-X. On the left side of my profile, I'm gonna run an event, a monthly event that's free, uh, but on YouTube, we're gonna ask for the membership and to be able to see the, mem the uh, instructional videos that are associated uh, with that whip practice, we're asking a $1.99 a month subscription. Okay, so we move on up in the levels of, uh, of subscriptions, and basically they move up a dollar at a time. So, uh, and, and most of those entry level subscriptions are linked to instructional videos. And, and again, the idea is we want people watching those videos that are truly interested in leather not somebody that's just surfing around on YouTube and bumps into, somehow bumps into a spanking video. Um, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of where it's going. For those of you that don't know a little of my history, for six, almost six and a half years, uh, I was the headmaster of a leather house, House Mermaid in upstate New York. Uh, that house had 17 extended family members that came to meetings. We shared cookouts. We did things together as a family. Uh, and then we hosted a house play party every month uh, for, well, for those six and a half years. In the beginning of the house, me and a few other family members built 2,500 square feet of dungeon space. We built lifestyle beds to go in the bedrooms. There was a lot that went on in the goings and comings of, a, of an evolving leather house. Well, you really can't do a leather house online, but there are a lot of uh, people that are online and hopefully people that subscribe to my channel that would like to learn more about uh, leather houses and leather organizational structures. And uh, not all organizations in leather are structured in a house system. You'll, you'll bump into packs and tribes and different kinds of organizational structures as you go around the country. But usually there's a reason why 
uh, a group or organization would uh, would have a loose structure uh, analogous to a pack or tribe or uh, a house. We called ours a house because it was a physical house and, and we did things in the physical house and opened our home up to vetted members of the community to come in and do things and interact with us. Uh, so that, you know, that's another level of membership. I'm not looking for a thousand people to become house members. I really would uh, would probably even rethink that and change the direction of the uh, of the memberships. But but if I'm two years from now, if I have ten family members that that are part of House Mermaid online and we do things together, uh, either through Zoom or Fat Life or Facebook, or maybe we even have an opportunity. Uh, to get together at, a, at an event. Um, a bunch of us, maybe we're going to Southeast Leatherfest next year, and we all agree, you know, to, to meet up at the convention and do some things. That, that would be nice. And there's different positions within uh, a leather house or a leather family. I'll, I'll, I'll do a different video on uh, types of positions that follow into a leather structure and a, and a leather family. So you can kind of start thinking about that, uh, but I won't do it maybe in this video. So over time, and we'd hope you stay with the channel, over time the channel's gonna be rebranded. It'll no longer be the BDSM Dungeon Play channel. It's gonna evolve into the leather journey, but inside that leather journey at a, at a membership a minimal membership level, you'll still have all those instructional videos that were part of the original BDSM Dungeon Play. So please, please put in the comments what you think about the idea. Uh, you know, the idea is really kind of to still follow that leather structure that we've come to know and love around the country or around the world of Someone that's interested and curious comes in at the munch level, uh, gets to be known, and as they get to be known, then they also learn more and more about the different instructional aspects of the lifestyle, which is what actually is contained within our instructional videos. And so this is a big venture for me because I'm gonna create a what is series or a what are series, which just provides definitions of terms and terminology and phraseology that we use in the BDSM community that we all know what it means, but a vanilla wouldn't know what it means. When I say public rules of conduct, to many people in leather, that means something, but to a vanilla that heard that, they would just kind of frown and wonder what the hell is Dex talking about, okay? So the What Is series is gonna be definitional and very entry level, uh, but then when you get over into the membership area, we, as you know, we've got instructional series on bastinado, caning, impact play, uh, sharp pointy things, violet wand, wax play. We're gonna evolve that series and add uh, rope, wax play, uh, well, some of Wax Play's done. We have to finish up the Wax Play series. Um, we're gonna do Fire Play. Fire Play's pretty exciting stuff. And with all of that, I'm gonna have to use, in some instances, the blurring tool at YouTube because YouTube doesn't allow full and partial nudity. Only in certain rare artistic instances will they be okay with that. But we'll do what we can do uh, to cover that kind of instructional content and provide hopefully something for the members. But at each of those levels of members on the production end, I've got to be producing videos. So I, I would beg everyone to be patient with me and realize that, you know, to keep uh, content for the different tiers, um, I've gotta be cranking out three or four videos a week. Well, some weeks I'm able to do that, some weeks I'm not. But I, I give you from my heart, I will do my very best to, uh, to make it a worthwhile adventure for everyone that, 
decides to uh, take the leather journey with me. Thanks again for watching BDSM Dungeon Play and what is going to become the Leather Journey channel.